Hey YouTube, um, I wanted to talk to the women out there while I um, do my makeup. I'm putting makeup on today, but as you can see in many of my videos, I don't have makeup on. Um, and I have so many reasons for that, but basically the thing that I really want to um, talk to women about is um, your personality, your life, like, I recognize that women are beautiful. Beautiful women are everywhere. I think that every, every woman is beautiful in her own way. Um, even if they aren't, you know, the type that, you know, stops traffic on the street or whatever, I think that women in general are beautiful. Um, but, Beauty is a very dangerous thing to base your existence on. Um, I know there are some women who won't won't let their husbands or their significant others see them without makeup. Um, you know, they wake up early and get makeup on before their guy wakes up and all this stuff. Um, or people that are so obsessed with their body image or whatever. I mean, we've all seen stories where, um, you know, people like supermodels who kill themselves, um, or people who are so obsessed with their body that they spend millions of dollars on plastic surgery and they're still not happy. They're still like constantly trying to to get better because beauty is is a um it's it's one of those things like you're never gonna really fully attain it i mean you might be gorgeous you might be um a perfect body perfect face everything um but odds are you don't see it that way because you know what women are really, really good at putting ourselves down, at noticing our flaws, like, okay, so if I'm looking at my face right now before I put makeup on, okay, I got a wrinkle here, I got wrinkles across here, I got wrinkles, wrinkles, dark circles under my eyes, I've got, like, puffy eyes right now because I haven't even gotten out of bed yet, um, I got, like, my lips are, are thin, you know, they, they aren't like Angelina Jolie lips. My nose, my nose is big, like, you know, look at that, big nose, big nose. Okay, um, and, you know, I could go on, let's see, maybe there's something wrong with my ears, I don't really think so, but anyway, you know, if I wanted to, I could find something wrong with every single part of my body. Um, now, my body, my body has its own issues because, as you know, I have multiple sclerosis, and, um, one of the things I learned when, throughout this process of having this disease, is that, um, I used, to, I used to have a really cute butt, like I thought, so, you know, I, w I walked around, I walked everywhere, um, it was fun for me. I liked staying in shape, you know, um, but it wasn't even about staying in shape. It was just fun. I still love going on walks. It, it's just now I <laughs> Um, but anyway, like, no matter what I did, no matter how much I worked out, no matter if I had all the plastic surgery in the world or whatever, like, I have multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed when I was 20, um, and that, that diagnosis would have been made whether I was, like, full of plastic surgery, whether I was buff or not. Um, it doesn't matter because, you know what, disease and disability and, um, life in general doesn't care. It doesn't care if you're hot. It doesn't care if you're not. It doesn't care if, um, you are in the best shape of the world. I mean, yes, it is good to be in good shape. I'm not saying, I'm not advocating for you to be lazy or to, to um, just not take care of yourself. I think that 
taking care of yourself is important and um, it's good sorry hold on it's good for you mentally and it's also good for your relationships and stuff I know a lot of um, I, I know that it is true that um, that men and women when they get in a stable relationship a lot of times they do let themselves go because they feel they feel like okay I got I got what I came here for so now you know I don't have to do any work um, which is kind of true in some ways and it's also um, you know you should want to take care of yourself but you can't do it for another person if you're only looking good for your man um, then it's not gonna last if you're only looking good to look good it's not gonna last like now I do um, I still I should do physical therapy more than more than I'm already doing my razor fell apart I'm trying to <laughs> reassemble it um, but I should um, I don't know what I was gonna say but anyway um, you can't no one is perfect like no one is perfect and even if we try to be something we're not like even if we are I mean women like first of all okay you guys are beautiful it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you don't have makeup on it doesn't matter if your hair is is a mess or if you're you know you have extra weight or what your body type is um it doesn't matter you're beautiful anyway but true beauty comes from the inside and one of the things like people tell me a lot that oh you're beautiful and and stuff like this but um I actually feel more beautiful now than I ever have in my entire life like even when I had a cute butt because <laughs> I walked around all the time and even when I um I was I don't know even when I did wear makeup every day and stuff like I was not near as confident as I am right now because um, I really and uh, the ultimately I really think that beauty itself is confidence like the more confident you are the more beautiful you become um, people who who say I'm beautiful now and all this stuff it cracks me up I mean it's like I, it's flattering I think it's awesome and um, I I feel beautiful like I honestly feel beautiful a lot of the time but it is totally totally not based on anything physical like I don't I as you can see I pointed out all my flaws my sense of beauty and my sense of being a beautiful person is based on m my internal stuff how I live my life like what I believe in and what I focus on and what I fight for um it's the the this confidence I have and the ability to not wear makeup around town and to still feel like confident enough, enough to dance and to smile and and to laugh at people and um, laugh at myself like confidence confidence is true beauty um, and so if you are not a very like I mean confidence I don't even know I used to be so insecure um, about so many things and I still I still can be occasionally but I'm really I'm not as insecure now I, I still have my my issues that I'm always gonna be like ah you know but um those issues don't define me and I recognize when I start obsessing about the my flaws then um I realize that it's it's an issue in my head it's not an issue in my body it's it's internal it's not external even though you might be fixated on an external thing like the problem is a lot of and that's the reason a lot of women when they get plastic surgery it doesn't really 
I mean, they they aren't satisfied. Like, yeah, they might be satisfied at first, but then, you know, a couple years later, they want to get another surgery, or they wish they had done it differently or something. Because real beauty comes from the inside, and real beauty um, is not something that you can buy or whatever. And now, like, I really was going to do my makeup while I was doing this video because I thought, oh, it's good while well, we're talking about beauty and stuff, but I can't find my concealer. My concealer! How am I supposed to cover up my dark circles without concealer? Um, but, <laughs> so, maybe, maybe today, instead, I know I want to wear makeup today, I don't know why, I'm just in the mood for it, but, um, Maybe I should skip the concealer since I can't find it anyway. <laughs> um, but, um, I don't know, ladies. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I don't know if there's an easy answer. I don't know how to, how to encourage you guys to look beyond your physical appearance because it, it won't last. Like, even if you don't get a disability, even if, I mean, even if one day scientists figure out a way to stop the aging process, you know, because women spend all this money on wrinkle creams and all this stuff, like, maybe one day scientists will find a way to stop it and you can just be a clone or whatever and stay perfect the rest of your life, you know, or obsess about your imperfections the rest of your life is more like it. But, um, in the meantime, like, why is it a bad thing to get old? You know, um, okay, I, I get that wrinkles are not the prettiest thing, but who cares? Like, really, they're proof that you lived. Um, and, and life is so much deeper. I just wish there was a way that I could, like, I don't know. I wish there was a way that I could get that through to people that you cannot base your sense of self self on your body on your face you can't it has to be deeper than that and um i hope you guys find something deeper to face to um <laughs> to, to base your sense of self on um and be be the type of person like once you recognize that beauty is fleeting, if, if it exists at all, like, really, seriously, I don't know if beauty is even, I don't know, it's, it's like a, a weird thing, but, um, it's fleeting, even if it's real for a couple seconds, it won't last long, and so, um, why spend your life chasing something that, chasing a butterfly, you know? Um, like, it's fun occasionally, you know, sometimes butterfly chasing can be fun, but, um, that can't be your focus of life. And so, here's two women, and here's two beauty, um, real beauty, beauty that comes from within, beauty that comes from knowing that your physical appearance is only a really small part of who you are and there's something so much deeper and if you choose to embrace the parts of yourself that are interesting and exciting and um, different different from other people like that's true beauty beauty is our differences beauty is what makes you different from someone else, what makes you original, like, um, celebrate those things, celebrate your life, celebrate your relationship, celebrate, c celebrate true beauty and confidence and, and knowing that no matter what, um, beauty is only a small part of what this world is about.
even though the world seems obsessed with it. But it just, it doesn't last. And it's, it's so, like, there's burn victims, you know, there's, I mean, you can't, people get acid thrown in their face and stuff, like, seriously, your life has to be so much more, it, ha it can't be based on your body, you might, like, you can't, you can't base your sense of self on anything physical, um, and so I really, I just hope, I don't know why women are so obsessed with, with beauty and with, with attaining it and keeping it and, um, being more beautiful than everyone else and comparing, comparing themselves to everyone else. Like, it's such a fruitless endeavor. It's so, it's so pointless. We shouldn't be comparing each other. We should be, um like, contrasting each other, finding out what's different, like, okay, so, how can you be the best you, not the best of everyone else, but the best you, you can be, um, okay, but this video is getting long, so I'll end it, but here's to all you beautiful women out there, um, and I don't know, I don't know what to say, just be you.